Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time zone from wherever you're watching us from. Here is Mom Eze Kitchen and More, and you're welcome to another great episode of Mom Eze Kitchen and More. And on today's episode, we are making a great recipe, a delicious recipe, a recipe that is locally made and it comes out internationally. <laughs> Okay, people, but please, before we dive into this recipe, give me the permission to welcome the first timers on my channel. So, please, if today is the first time you're noticing my channel, or you are just waka passing, and you observe this my authentic delicious delicacy channel, or somebody out there told you about Mom Ezzy Kitchen and Mom, you are highly welcome and you are definitely at the right place. But please make yourself very comfortable by hitting that subscription button and that post notification bell. That is that small bell by the subscription button. Button. Remember to notify you for all so that you be among the first to be alerted of any of my new uploads. For my old and returning subscribers, thanks for always coming to watch, like, comment, and share at my videos. For my fellow content creators, you all are just the best. Thanks for always coming to support this channel. And all I can say is God bless you all out there. So, people, today we are making a great recipe, and this recipe is none other recipe but porridge, or you call it Portage. Whatever you want to call it, it is a combination of yam, mist, and oil and all vegetables attached to it. What is that called? It is called porridge yam. Hey, hey. So my beloved ones, you can see how this dish is already looking on your screen because I know you are seeing it. If you want to see how this my authentic porridge yam, <laughs> or you call it your porridge yam, was prepared from the beginning to the end, I have a very kind advice for you. Sit down in your couch, cross your legs, all eyes on the screen. My focus because right about now, I'll be Take it straight to the end with them. That will be right after this intro. Don't touch the dial. Welcome back. Here is the green leaf. Here is the smoked mackerel. I made that myself. Here is the palm oil. Here is the fresh mackerel. Also, here I have the black pepper, the crayfish, the seasoning cube, and chicken spice. Here is salt to taste. And also, yam is in the pot, and we are cooking that right away while I will be washing up the green leaves. You can see that. And after that, I will come and show you how I'm chopping that up right away. Keep watching. You can see the yam has been cooked up. So at this point, I'll be adding in the salt. That is the method I use in boiling my yam. And now I'm pouring in what? The palm oil. This is a very simple recipe. If you are watched till this time, what are you thinking? Go and share me out and share me love while we continue this cooking. I'm just covering up the pot again. And then I'm going to do what? I'll be showing you how I'll be frying my fish. By this time, I've already seasoned my fish. Is it my fish? It is mackerel. Now you can see the frying process already ongoing. And then here, the yam is boiling poto poto in the pot. <laughs> okay, my people. You can see at this point, I've already added in my dried ingredients and my fresh pepper. But that video did not show up. That clip vanished, even as I'm still staring it. So please, if you are new to my channel, this is the time to go and click that bagam bagam subscribe right now because it is calling you and please and please remember to check other of my helpful videos i'm just tasting some of the ingredients to see if it's okay for now is a thumbs up remember we are still going to taste again because we've not added some other other things uh-huh <laughs> so i've just covered the pot now the fish is still frying keep watching people Right about now, I just added in the finely chopped onions. I did add the whole, I added few, and I am also adding in what? The smoked mackerel. This mackerel, I'll be leaving a link on how I made it after this video. I'll be uploading that video on a short video, so don't forget to watch it and see how this mackerel came through. All right, keep watching.
I just allowed this to steam. If you notice, I did not cover the pot. I just allowed it to steam up because I went to get my what? Spectacular to come and do what? To come and do justice to this yam. To give it that texture or consistency that I'm looking for. I tasted again. I said, give me thumbs up. Making that many times, two times. As the onions is just about entering into the Part. That is the remaining onions on the other side. What is now left, people, is just the green leaves. So keep watching. So here is the green leaf. It is present and entering into the pot. Oh my god. Green is life. Green is everything for me. Look at how this thing is going to turn out. At the point of entering, I hope you are enjoying your view. Please and please and please and please don't click out to enjoy this video to the end. If you really want to support my channel, when you come to my place, balance well. Don't run anywhere because I like to balance anywhere I go. I don't work out anyhow. I work out in full. Hey, hey, who sabi sabi? <laughs> So people, I hope you enjoyed this video because my lovely ones, this is my porridge or you call it your portage. <laughs> Did you see that voice? Porridge or you call it your portage yam is almost ready. At this point, people, I have turned off my heat. I've turned off the heat of my stove because I don't want my green leaf to turn what? White. And now I tasted for the last time is a thumbs up. This recipe is ready. Did this recipe call you? If you say yes, please don't forget to give it a resounding comment even as I am still frying the fish. So people keep watching. And please, if you know you'll be trying this my authentic recipe, don't forget to tag me. Don't forget to comment that yes, you'll be trying it. And I'll be so glad to read that from you. The fish is ready. So we are going to be dishing this out in a matter of time. Keep watching. Remember people, I will also be making a short video of this fish recipe. So don't forget to click on it when you see the short video. In a matter of time, I'm dishing out right now. Check it out. This recipe was really great and totally inviting. So on a good and pleasant note, my beautiful people, thank you for watching to this time and it will be a very great pleasure to see all your beautiful and gorgeous faces in the next episode of Mom as a Kitchen and More. Please and please remember, I love you all, but in all, God loves you more. Bye-bye.